Hello class, this is section 1.2 and in this video finally we get to derive the heat equation for a one-dimensional rod. So again, uh, just a reminder of our situation, we have this rod and it's laid out horizontally like so with the x-axis labeled and we want to write down an equation that tells us how the temperature changes with space and with time. So let's begin. We start with our equation for the conservation of energy, the partial derivative of the energy density with respect to time is equal to minus the flow of heat with respect to x plus the internal energy qxt. So remember we want to change everything here to temperature, which is uxt, and the first thing to remember is that we derive this relationship between E and the temperature in the previous video. We have E xt equals to C rho uxt, where C is the specific heat of the material of the iron rod and rho is the density, the mass per volume. Now, uh, as we mentioned in the previous video, sometimes C and rho depend on x, but to simplify things, we're not going to write down the dependence. And we can rewrite this left-hand side now as C times rho times the partial derivative of temperature with respect to time. Now we have to think about the left hand, the right hand side of the equation. And for this one, we can introduce Fourier's law. If you remember, Fourier's law told us that phi, the heat flow, is equal to minus K naught times the X derivative of the temperature This is Fourier's law, and we simply use it to replace the phi on the right-hand side with our u. So here, we have minus the partial derivative of minus k naught partial partial x uxt differentiated with respect to x. And the QXT, of course, remains the same. So what happens is that we can pull out the constant K0, the thermal conductivity constant. And the, we are simply taking the partial derivative of the partial derivative of U. So this is, of course, just equal to the second partial of UXT plus QXT, as usual. Right, and this is now uh, an equation that is purely in U. Well, we have the Q there, but um, we can now just rearrange the constants to get partial U respect to T equals to K naught divided by C rho times the second derivative with respect to X plus qxt over c rho. Now, usually we want to set q as zero. Sometimes we don't, but sometimes, but in most cases, we don't want the rod to generate heat on its own. So we set qxt equals zero. And then this leaves us with this rather simple equation, partial uxt, partial t, equals k, second derivative of uxt. And k is, of course, equal to k naught over c rho. And the physicists call it thermal diffusivity. Um, how do I say that? Diffusivity. That's what the physicists call it. But um, in this class, honestly, I I'm just going to call it K. 
So this is called the heat equation, and this is the equation that we will be studying for most of the course.